Can I talk to you for one second? Sure. I'll, tell you I'll be right back. Yeah, just a second, sorry. Okay, so listen, my sister-in-law just came up to me and it's like freaking out. Oh, already? Well, that be... Monica's here. Did Monica know Teresa was gonna be here? I don't know, she knew. I just said to you, know what? She was comfortable coming. Oh, she, uh, comfortable. She's not afraid of her. No, I don't think she would be. It's a holiday party and I really, I'm so sorry, but I don't want any like craziness going on. So if you wouldn't mind, I can't let Monica stay. I'm so sorry. Oh, I can't do that. For her to come here, I know that. that's so... so do she was not... Listen, don't ruin your brother's night. Oh, no, no, no. But right. he needs to ask her to leave, because if, so, if he came up to me right. and said, Teresa, I want this person to be out of the party, he did the right and thing. I would, and I they would make them They both did the right leave. thing, right? After I don't see her anymore, then they did the right, right. thing. Well, they're trying, right? Where are you going? We have to take oh, a picture. I'm to her. Oh, picture, Jacqueline. All right, she left. Monica's not gonna start any trouble. Monica is a classy woman. I mean, she's an attorney. Regardless of whatever, that's my sister. I'm sorry, I know it's your sister, but the bottom line is, she's the one that went up to her in the courtroom the other, the other day and started acting like, no, we gotta talk, like ghetto. The girl was minding her own business. Kim, let me, let me explain something. I apologize, I don't wanna be rude. Monica's gotta go. You're here now, too? I understand. Jacqueline, Listen. can you help me explain the situation? Re regardless okay. of whatever it is, Excuse it's me. still my sister. I have to respect her wishes. Yeah, but this is so. your house. Why are you starting shit when you know there's a problem with them? What's the big deal? She's not starting anything. Because you know that they just had an altercation. Well, there wasn't, no, listen, was excuse here. me. There wouldn't have been an altercation. She didn't bother her in the courtroom. Okay, say hi to yeah. Monica. How are you? Nice hi. to meet you. How are you? Good, Pleasure. how are you? Doing? I'm, trying I'm to Joe, I'm Teresa's brother. Oh. I don't know the story. Okay. But. Regardless, it's my sister, she's uncomfortable. She came over really upset that you're here and she's freaking out. You, know you don't what? know me, believe me, no. when I tell you, it's been three and a half years of complete torture and nightmare on my part. So what happened, did you talk, did you get to talk I to Bethany? I sat down and Bethany left. You were I gonna didn't... talk to her about how you were gonna drop the whole damn thing. What happened uh, to that? No, I didn't say I was gonna drop the whole damn thing. Ramona and I told Sonia that she better just bail on this tipsy girl thing because obviously it's upsetting Bethany so much. And is it really worth their friendship? Maybe I could change the name from Tipsy Girl. Well, so Listen, you would I'd agree have... that it's too close Listen, I would to love to have girl. Sonia Morgan New York on my wine. But Don, we talked about this. I thought you were gonna like fix things with that. Tonight. Tonight. I know you want to talk to me. I know you're angry. Come, at come me. on, scooch down. Uh, did you hear that you were happy that you weren't there? No, I feel like I should have been there, and I would have no. had some time with Bethany. Would have been I nice. I would have liked to have been with my girlfriend. Bethany would have destroyed you. You don't know. It was, she and and Luann's strong. She promised me. I said, no, I didn't promise you that. I said in my own words, You promised Luann, me you were going to talk Luann to Bethany. Get it. No, I'm not going to aggravate her. If she wanted to talk to me, she would. No, it wasn't about her talking to she you. She was never going to talk to you She walked away. Guess what? She'll never she talk to you away. again. She was never going to talk to you again. OK, so that's what it is, right? Well, no, because then you're supposed to fix it. How? By bothering her more? You know it. If people don't want to talk to you, you don't chase them around. That's your style. Oh, that's why you texted everybody nonstop. Because well, I want to be with everyone, and then I would have a moment to be around her for a it's day and a night. It would have been better off so if you didn't text anybody a million texts and then talked to her tonight instead of sending her a million texts. So your strategy Wait is Wait a minute, what are you talking about? The millions of texts were that Dorinda should not exclude me from the group. No, you texted Bethany too. She said she got a lot of texts. From I texted Bethany about and you should not Sonia, about Dorinda. Sonia, we had a whole conversation Hold about that. How I talk about sad let's not talk about that I would never want to hurt her Let or her steal talk. from her. That's what I texted Bethany about. I texted Dorinda about I don't want to be excluded from the whole group. And you two texted me what you think I should do. Yes. And that is not what I said I promised to do. I said I will see how Bethany reacts. And she left. This is why I should have been there so I could have time. No, because it would home no. together. This like is we why you should have been here. It's always like that. You better get used to it, Dorinda, because it never changes. It's always like this. Well, and you can't I'll protect anyone. I'll just myself through it then as best I can. No, but it would have been better to see everybody there in the private everybody everybody wouldn't wouldn't have come. Not here. So. Everybody yeah. wouldn't have come. Oh, so you you would rather no, exclude me than I and did. have everybody else? I think, I think that, that's what really hurts. No. You'd rather have everybody else so except me. It's just not true. I don't exclude someone because somebody says that they're not. I have to get out come of if somebody else is coming. You know? Yeah. I did it from a place of love. I want you in my home whenever you want to come. I want to be with you one-on-one. -on -one. I stand by that. I didn't feel like it was a healthy environment for you. 
Or don't get upset. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know, so your decision goes was the right decision. Well, I could tell you, you guys, this doesn't work. This doesn't work. And it also, the party sucks, so. But I thought, Jacqueline, tell me if you agree or not. Considering the fact that Teresa is trying to have a relationship with her family, uh -huh. and I, I have to admit that I can't get enough of Joe. I just can't. <laughs> oh, we, we already invited him. This oh, Joe, we invited Joe Melissa. You know what? I did get an invite to go to the Brownstone for New Year's Eve. I, I know nice. that you know Caroline's going to be there, Jacqueline's going to be there. Oh, that's great. I know Teresa and Joe are going, okay. so I think we're going to be doing that. I don't know what you guys have planned, but right now we don't have any plans. You know we're on the fence about this. Uh -huh. Rich and Kathy. Teresa says no. Well, it's not Teresa's party. Kathy and Melissa, they enjoy each other's company. And Joe Gorga reminds me of Christopher. He's so full of life and happiness. That's what the New Year's about, right? New beginning, 2011, family. I want to talk to Teresa because she keeps saying that family comes first with her. Right. So I am going to step in as the sister that I'm trying to be to her and let her know right. that you're her blood and that's it. You guys need to work this out. Teresa says she's not ready. I don't need permission. It's yeah. my party. Yeah. It's my house. It's well, my husband. Well, I mean, it puts Albert in a bad situation because he does do business with them. And I think Albert... Oh, Dad won't stand like for they... that for a second if you invite one and not the other. If we don't invite the Wakilis, Albert's going to have my neck because he knows them forever. Hey, listen, Jacqueline, very simple. Making a big deal out of nothing. Invite them. I'm going to. Invite the Gorgas, invite the Wakilis, whatever their name is, and let's have a good time. I love Teresa. She's my friend first, before anything. I love her family from what I know of them. And if I get too much involved or pick a side, I'm going to be in the one looking like the jerk. And I don't want to be that person. Do we need security for, uh, for Jeff Goldblum? Should we talk about our latest trip to the no, Turks I don't and Caicos? Talk about it. Where you what? Um, took the owner of the restaurant, who is Bethany's friend, I and didn't like take him. totally blew us off as your friend, no, like didn't you didn't even him. know us. No, Come on, he could have talked to you. Hi. Hi, John. How are you? Did you like everything? Yeah, actually, very good. Ordered for all of us. Wait, what is she doing? Wait, 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 Please Luan, don't go there with me. If he wanted to talk to Are you, you kidding me? He <laughs> you wanted to hear about yourself, not go bash why, somebody why else as a defense. Why are you not bashing anybody else? I'm telling you. Right. Okay, so it's fine. So okay, so fine. So she's exactly like you. So you're both Do like it. that. Great. So now what do you got? Ridiculous. Now you're right. I'm wrong. Now what? Does Luann like to flirt? Yes. Does Luann like to have you a good time? You can't hear your stuff. So don't ask. Oh like my Sonia. God. Don't what are you ask. You encroach someone else's territory. You get like a barracuda. <laughs> you want to take any man, you make them your prey, and it's like a Venus flytrap. And women don't feel comfortable with that. That's not a girl's girl. That's the bottom line. You asked it, I'm telling it to you. It's served cold. You don't I want it. I have never I taken or stolen a man from anyone, and I would never do that. OK. Then I'm is, is crazy. That, that's all I have to I say. I think you should check me that's in this outfit into the mental institution tonight. Say. 